Hey guys, it's Phoenix Android Radios here. In this video, we are in a 2021 Toyota Tacoma, but this radio specifically is a 12.1 inch radio, and it is compatible from 2016 and later all the way to 2022 for both the manual AC and this particular vehicle is an auto AC vehicle. Manual AC and auto, auto AC vehicle are both supported. 2016 all the way to 2022. You have the hazard button here, physical AC buttons, as well as the position of the air change. If your vehicle has a start and stop engine button, as well as a four wheel drive or two wheel drive knob, uh, you do need to remove it from the factory radio and remove the knobs that came with our radio and change them to here, which is what we've done already. We've also removed the factory vents and moved the vents all the way to our radio here. Just to mention, this model is the orange color. It is a little bit of a reddish orange. And the vents here, this one is the chrome version. There is also an option for black. You have three other colors. You have gunmetal, silver, and black. This is the orange. It looks a bit reddish orange. And now this video, we're gonna show you how to connect it. This is again for the 2021 model 2021 vehicle the main harness is different for the 2021 and you get a different usb adapter for the 2021 vehicles on the back of the radio we've connected the rca plug which also has the sim card reader these rcas are for aftermarket sound system as well as a video and audio in if you hook up say a playstation or an xbox you can see the video feed in the app on the radio this is the rca connector we've made there is also the usb connector here that has there is also this connector that has two green wires and it follows all the way to the main cable here which is an adapter going to the main cable next to it is a four pin connector that has one usb port and this USB port we route outside of the car for access. This is for your built-in Apple CarPlay or Android Auto. Next to it is a six pin connector. And this has two USB ports that also do data and power. And we've also connected the adapter because we want to support the factory USB port on the radio, which is right here. And the last one is the factory or aftermarket backup camera that has a female RCA here. And if your vehicle has a factory 360 camera, that is also supported. To, for that video feed, we have a female RCA and we have a male RCA coming from the main harness. And those two would connect here. To the way left, we have a radio antenna Wi-Fi antenna for both 2.4 gigahertz and 5G band. GPS antenna, and we do provide an adapter that can support your factory radio antenna on the car. And we also provide a GPS puck as, a, as an external antenna. There is also a 4G antenna for SIM cards. This is for that And now we can move on to the main cable where there is an adapter that connects here and on the main harness. One thing to be sure to connect is the canvas connection here. And this will connect to the bottom of the radio here. If, you're, if your vehicle is a auto AC vehicle, you will have one plug. But if you have a manual AC vehicle, you will have two plugs here rather than one plug. Now that we've made the connections on the back of the radio, there are several connectors that need to go to the car. This is the radio antenna, we'll connect to the top here. And now we just need to find matching connectors for this plug. When connecting to the car, make sure that one is that the connector is the same shape and two is that these wires match up with the car wires. 
you may have identical connectors where you, when you connect them, the wires are actually not matching up with the wires on the connector. So now that we have these plugs, let's find them in the car and turn on the vehicle. Okay. So machine. just to confirm, these wires at the bottom row match with the wires on the bottom row for this connector. So we'll make that. We found three connectors for the 2021 vehicle. Let's connect the radio antenna. And one tip is the canvas connection. We like to route it from the back behind this bar, this plastic bar, which will then connect to the bottom of the radio right here shoot okay just to reconfirm the factory backup camera is connected which goes to the top right here so let's show that USB. And the factory USB, because we want to support it, and this is a 2021 model, we have this type of adapter. It connects to right here. And with the GPS, we have the adapter to support the factory antenna. This one. And we're going to connect the push to start button as well as the four wheel drive knob. And because this is an auto AC, we have one plug for the air conditioning. Oh, <laughs> and now we can turn on the engine and the radio should come on. Now that the radio is on, we can see that the hazard button works as well as the fan up and down speed, as well as the fan up and down controls. On the back connections, one thing to note is when you're looking for the power connector with the thick yellow wire and the thick black wire, confirm that you have matching wires on the top pinouts here, one for the yellow and one for the black. You may get it mixed up if you find this black connector because this one also fits with this, but you can see at the top here, these pins are empty. So confirm that the yellow and the black have matching wires on the connector.